You need to be nimble on your feet to become a dancer, and you need to have a steady hand to become a painter, or do you? Tonight in my Making a Difference report, meet the painter inspiring others with the message that attitude is an art. With precise, confident brush strokes, the colors come together as pieces in a puzzle. I never know what he's doing in the beginning. The artist expressing not what he sees, but what he feels. There's no boundaries. Nobody can tell you if you're right or wrong. For Jesse Cuellar, this is nothing new. He's been painting all his life. But these days, his studio is the Rehabilitation Institute of St. Louis, and his compositions are done not with his hands, but with his mouth. I'm speechless about that, because I don't know how he does it. Everything changed for this 30-year-old in 2010, when he lost his footing and fell off a roof. It was quiet for three seconds, closed my eyes. I opened them back up, I was on the ground, I was still alive. Alive, but not well. Doctors weren't sure he'd ever be able to speak again or breathe on his own after suffering a severe spinal cord injury. Though he lost the use of his arms and legs, he never lost his sense of humor. I totally showed him up and did everything they told me I couldn't do, except for walking, yet. <laughs> Push. Good. Huh, that's pretty good. It was during those first few weeks of rehab All right, down slow. that his therapist suggested right, punch. Go, go. that there Keep was going. a way to get back to doing what he loved. I was impressed right away with how positive he was. That came off right off the bat. And a short time later, Jesse was once again dipping the brush into the palette of his imagination. You have the same motions in your neck as you do as your hands. So you manipulate you know, your head and your neck, the same way as you use your hand, the thought process is the exact same. Some art can be described as contemporary, some classic, but Jesse Cuellar's style is something else. Uh, controlled chaos. Even his first few paintings by mouth showed his talent, but now he's selling some of his canvases for hundreds of dollars. I believe one day he'll buy me a car, because he'll be able to do that. With his paintings? <laughs> While he admits to having bad days, the power behind his paintings may just be the power of positive thinking. You can take it two different ways. You can be negative about it and sit there and let it eat you alive, or you can take the best of it and run with it. Calling this his second life, Jesse Cuellar believes he's a better painter now than he was when he was able-bodied. My second life is killing my first life. Way better, <laughs> hands down. No pun intended. <laughs> a small canvas can often show a big picture. For the other patients in rehab, each flowing stroke sends a message. I don't go an hour in the gym without somebody making a comment to me. Showing that art doesn't come from the hand, it comes from the heart. Jesse now talks to other patients in similar circumstances, encouraging them to be positive and keep going and he was recently accepted to the MFPA, the Mouth and Foot Painting Artist Organization, which will give him a grant to continue his work. To learn more about Jesse's art, we can link you to his Facebook page. Just visit this story on KSDK.com.